Are you looking for the video editor in the Photos app on your PC? It's gone if you've updated your computer or are using Windows 11. So frustrating. Join me now. I'm going to show you the alternate that will actually be a better solution than that ever was. It's Molly here from Pixology, where we help people feel joy and happiness while working on their photos and family memories. Microsoft's video editor in the Photos app was really handy. We recommended it for years. Unfortunately, it's gone if you've updated your computer. I learned about this from our community. One of our members, Karen, mentioned that she had downloaded ClipChamp, which apparently is what Microsoft is marketing or telling their customers to use instead. So we downloaded ClipChamp and played around with it, and I think you're really gonna like the features. Let's take a look and walk through it. The first thing you'll wanna do is get ClipChamp. So you'll go to the Microsoft Store and you can search for ClipChamp and it'll come up here. You can see there's the version I have installed and the premium version. For most of us, the basic version will be just fine. So I'm going to minimize that. And now we're looking at five clips from a concert that my son was in. And this is a great example because often we take all this video of our kids, but really they're only in a few pieces of it. And so I'm going to make a kind of a highlights video of this concert with just the parts that were important to him or me. So we're going to just type in ClipChamp on our start bar there and we'll launch it. You'll know ClipChamp by this really cute purple movie thing and here we have it started. The home view has a lot going on with it. So really all we care about is the create a new video button or down here we have projects that we've been working on. So. I was hoping this one had saved. Let's see if my work that I had started already is in here. And it is. This is really cool, but I wanted the video to actually be named 2024-02 Youth Symphony Highlights. Some of this is connected to your OneDrive account. You'll see that my OneDrive icon is off because I hate using it. So just be aware of that. All right. Now, what we're looking at here, this left hand side is kind of the content that you're going to put into the video. We mostly care about your media, but there's other things that you can do here as well. Then the middle upper half is your video and you can hit the play button. You can go to the end or the beginning and they have these cool five second increments that can help you kind of advance forward a little bit. Then you have your timeline along the bottom and you see some movie clips here as well as I've, I've put some titles in. And this is the scrub bar. So you can move the scrub bar around and that helps you fine tune where you're going to eventually make cuts. On the right hand side you have other options of editing the content. So this piece right here, this is part of the program where Alex is getting recognition, is really quiet. So when I clicked the audio, I could turn it up so that part was louder than the rest of the, the program. So I'm going to just close that and there's other things that you can do. For our purposes we don't have to like go crazy we just need to cut the parts out maybe add some titles and call it a day but it's there if you want so now i just want to look across the bottom here i've added two videos in already you can see them in my media area and i've already clipped them to the parts that were important this timeline, you can use your mouse. I'm just using your mouse or your trackpad to expand it or make it smaller so that you can see what you're looking at. You also have the bar here to move you back and forth depending on where you are. And here's that plus and minus for zooming in and out of your clips. So let's go and get another piece, import media. And I think this is the one we're gonna go with. Well, it's like four or five minutes, but when you're trying to listen to a bunch of stuff, then you're like waiting for your kids. So we're going to clip out the end of it now. 
what I'm looking at down here is really hard to see, so that's why I'll use the zoom out. So I can just zoom out, and now I'm looking at something that's a little more manageable. I know that it's right around the end where they have kind of the conclusion to the song. That's, he's got a nice part in it. So let me just listen here. Okay, that's not real exciting. Okay. All right, so maybe around five, two. Now this is showing you the whole time of your video. So just for your information there. <laughs> All right, so now I have, a, I think where I wanna start, like the important part of this piece. So I have the scrubber there. I wanna split the clip. This little scissors icon is like the best. You can split like crazy. All right, so I'm gonna split there. And this piece, I don't really need the whole song. All right, so we're gonna hit delete. And now I have this big gap. I can click the trash can and then that gap goes away, which is really cool. So now we probably wanna zoom out a little bit. And this piece needs a, a title. So I had already made one. Let me just expand this out. I'll just show you the one at the beginning here. He had a solo. So I had already made a title and it's pretty easy to do this. You can just go to text and then click plain text or whatever you want if you want one of the fancy ones and click add to timeline now if you want your title to be all in one line you can just stretch it out there you can also make things bigger and smaller so now i have this title and it's in the middle i just want to drag it so i what i did is i just clicked on it because two clicks will get you to be editing it all right so you got to kind of play with it click on it and drag it right away okay and then you just kind of put it in there so here's where you can edit your text styles and all of that and let's say you get your title all with edited with a different font you can then copy and paste these pieces right copy and then paste it so you don't have to redo all of the customizing of that plain text that you originally put in. Now, this concert ended with this recognition, so I have selected both of these by holding the control key down, and I'm gonna just move it to the end. And now I've got this gap. I could click the trash can, or I can delete all visual gaps. That way I know I don't have something going on there. The whole concert was about a half hour. So now I have a minute and a half highlights video that I think will be really cool. I know I could do some further edits with it. Once you're done with your video, you have to export it from the program. So we go up to the top right and click export. And usually I stick with 1080 and we'll just do that. And it wants you to actually save your video in OneDrive. That's just a Microsoft thing. I hate that. You don't have to do it that way. You have other options of where you can save it. And once the video is done processing, you can actually save it right to your computer. ClipChamp is actually processing this through the cloud. So when it's done, you're gonna have this option to save to your computer. So we're gonna click that, and I'm gonna go right to my folder with the other video clips, and I'm gonna save it here. And of course, I'm gonna change the name because we don't care who it was made by. And now it'll be saved there with the original videos. I like to save the original videos because you never know. But once you've made your highlights film, you probably could let go of the other original files if you wanted. And that's how you export your video, and I hope this was helpful. So now that we've exported it, you could start on your next video. So what do you think about ClipChamp? Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for joining, and we'll see you the next time. Uh -huh.